Hey Gearheads, Steve here from Tech Support, just taking time out from another busy day fielding your calls to uh, record a little video here on getting your new camera onto the network with a Mac computer. We've had a lot of requests for this video since we hadn't really done one, so uh, first thing you're going to do obviously is uh, plug in your new camera. I've got mine connected to the PoE switch here, no other cables needed, and uh, wait for it to boot up. Once it gets booted up, you're going to go ahead and grab your computer open up a web browser and from there you will go up to the top of your computer and select your network connection. From here you're going to go down to network preferences. All right, once we get our network screen opened up we're going to go ahead and select our network connection and click the advanced button. From here we will select the TCP IP tab and then right here where it says configure IPv4 we're going to change that from using DHCP to manually. This will let us pick an address for our computer that's compatible with the camera's default address, which is 192.168.5.163. So as long as I pick an address that's not 163, we should be good. So I'm going to put in 192.168.5.121. And for the router, I am going to pick 192.168.5.1. Uh, that should always be the entry for the router setting, always .1 and then we're going to go ahead and click OK. From here I'm going to apply and then I'm going to open up my web browser and type in the camera's default IP address of 192.168.5.163 and boom we're now connected to our camera. Your login is going to be all lowercase admin for username and admin for the password. Once you get in here we see a nice preview of our good friend Stan. Hello! Always mocking me, that guy. He just stands there smiling, that calm confidence. I don't like it. Anyway, we're going to go to configuration now, and we are going to go down to network configure and select Ethernet. From here, we're going to go ahead and uh, change our IP address to something that's compatible with our local network. In my case, this network is a 192.168.30.x network. Uh, yours might have something else. Just make sure you pick an address that's going to be on your network. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 192.168.30 and I'll go ahead and keep that 163 address on the end. Subnet mask is going to stay the same, 255.255.255.0. And then for the default gateway, I'm going to change that to 192.168.30.1 and then I'm going to click save. The next thing we're going to do is jump down to our DNS entry here and make sure that we've got our DNS entries entered. Uh, yours might say zeros for that, so if it does, you want to make sure you put that to 8.8.8.8 for the preferred DNS, and then 8.8.4.4 for the alternative. Go ahead and save that, and once we've saved both of these options, we're going to go ahead and click Reboot at the bottom of the screen here, and it'll ask you to confirm and then the camera will start doing its little song and dance and reboot for us and then uh, we'll cue a little background music and fast forward and we'll see you in about 45 seconds. All right, so we are back and our camera is booted up and live so our next step is going to be to go back up here to our network connection and we're gonna undo what we did to talk to it and put our computer back on our network. So we're going to go down again to Network Preferences, select our network here, and click Advanced. Once again, we're going to go to TCP IP, and right here for Configure IPv4, we're going to change this back to using DHCP, and then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to click Apply, and we should be back on our network now. So now we can go ahead, jump back to our browser, and I'm going to type in the new address of my camera, which is now 192.168. Dot 30, dot 163, hit enter, and there we are. Now I can go ahead and log in. I don't want to do it, but I have to. I know what I'm going to see. Oh, it's C. Florante. That's a lot better than looking at Stan, but there's Stan. I know some people like him. That's fine. I get it. Sort of. I don't get it, but whatever. You like Stan, that's on you. Anyway. Uh, that's all there is to it. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to fire them off in the comments or contact us at Tech Support. We're happy to help you out with whatever you need. So uh, until next time, try to stay away from that guy and uh, have some fun, huh? Blah. <laughs>